I, I got the list of the vice president for advancement and safety guard the left to serve at Brian and Hughes. In this week's installment in BT, as we take a look forward to Brian Huff, we're going to take another look back at some of the a very fun time in the history of Lincoln General Hospital. In the early 80s, it was one of the primary sets for a movie that went on to win five Academy Awards. It is after 10. Uh, give my daughter the pain shot, please. Mrs. Greenway, I was going to. Oh, good. Go ahead. In just a few minutes. Well, please, it's, it's after 10. It's after 10. I don't see why she has to have this pain. Ma'am, it's not my patient. It's time for her shot. You understand? Do something. All she has to do is hold on until 10. And it's past 10. She's uh, in pain. My daughter is in pain. Give her the shot. You understand? You're please. going to behave. Give my daughter the shot. Thank you very much. How did Lincoln General change? I mean, how did just the look of it change? It really kind of, uh, you know, they were only here, I think, a couple weeks, but it almost seemed like a month. Um, but they kind of uh, gradually, it seemed like they took over a little bit more and a little bit more. There got to be more trucks, and uh, the uh, center drive was completely filled with trucks, and uh, the stars had their campers out there and they were they were housed out there while they were here and then in the back loading dock area the uh, service vans were there and their um, uh, food service van was there every day you could sign up to be an extra if you wanted to and there was a sign-in sheet down in the first floor across from the um, surgical uh, room doors that you could put your name down and your phone number and when you were available and then if you were off the next day you could become an extra in the film if they called you. I watched a couple of respiratory therapists and their job was to carry flowers down the hall and they did this for six hours while they filmed and so I decided real quickly that was not going to be something I wanted to get involved in. Um, we were on the floor just above where they were filming and we had kind of snuck down the stairwell to watch and um, they told us, oh, come in, come in, because they evidently weren't too awfully busy that day. And uh, so we watched uh, from behind. I think the people that were here the most were, were Deborah Winger and, and Shirley McLean. Uh, Deborah Winger, she was always kind of stood out, you know, and, and uh, uh, very nice, uh, cordial, but not you know, they didn't necessarily go out of their way to, to greet us or anything like that. But uh, the people that were in the movie talked about how they were very cordial with them. And it was a big day when Jack Nicholson came to film, I remember, because uh, evidently, you know, how the word gets around the hospital, you know, and, and uh, so everybody went to the front of windows and, you know, just uh, in hopes that we would see him. And indeed, we did get to see him, you know, out standing out there. And I don't think he was in Lincoln very awfully long either, but that was always a big buzz to, you know, that we knew he was there. And, and uh, he was quite good looking in those days. And so everybody, all, the, all of us girls went to the front window and hung out there. Bye-bye. Terms of endearment. So I don't know about you, but that's one of these movies where it's kind of a, a, a kick flick. Um, every time it's on the TV, you, you stop and watch so you can see who will be the Husker and the, at the Holiday Inn and can still see the CEO of Lincoln General. It's just a great movie, so I always stop and watch that. So I hope you enjoyed it, too. And if you want to enter this week's drive, uh, enter your answer, correct answer, by midnight on Friday, and you'll be eligible for a great time. Thanks.